Hello once again YouTube, Duke Nukem 2417 here. With another My Thoughts on video, this one's gonna be sort of a more rambling collection of my thoughts on things. Um, some topics that I've covered in previous videos, others that I haven't. Starting of course with the topic that I began my last video talking about, Sigil. And once again, it's been delayed. Now, the previous video, I mentioned that there was a collectible coin, but I was kind of unsure as to whether or not that was actually the case. I actually, I wasn't even uh, sure at the time if there was a collectible coin to be had with the paid-for physical box edition of Sigil. I have since seen a picture of that complete set on Twitter, sent out by John Romero himself. And there is indeed a collectible coin involved, yay. So I wasn't delusional or hallucinating or whatever. And the coin isn't even the reason for the delay this time! No, it's because they're having problems pressing discs. Possibly CDs, possibly vinyl albums. I don't know. All I know is, once again, delays in aspects of producing the physical paid-for boxed edition mean that those of us that just wanted to play the dang thing and do videos of it for free <laughs> have to wait. Now, I do appreciate that John Romero is going the extra mile for the fans who are willing to shell out for all this extra stuff. The coin, the album, the t-shirt, the sculpture of his head on a stake from the Icon of Sin. All that good stuff. But that kind of makes it a little bit more difficult for the rest of us who just want to play the thing for free. I actually keep waiting for it! <clears throat> I, I will be getting the free version, of course, when it comes out, so. And as soon as I get my hands on the free megawad of Sigil, I will be doing a DN2417 plays of it. So yeah, there's that. Eagerly awaiting the release of that. And the other topic that I mentioned in my previous video, Pro Jared. His subscriber count is still falling. And yeah. I believe last time I checked it was 818,000 something. It's probably dropped below that since then. Um, I keep getting on this elevator and I don't want to. <laughs> Weirdly enough, a name I've been hearing a lot of in connection, well not in connection to this whole Progera thing, but when I see the Progera sub count drop videos, there's another name and another sub count drop listed right alongside his. I believe it's James Charles or Charles James. I don't know who this individual is, but apparently their channel is experiencing a similar subscriber drop because of some drama or other that I haven't been keeping track of because I don't care enough to keep track of it and I'm not going to try and keep track of it all. I was invested in the Pro Jared thing and I did a video on the Pro Jared thing because I was, keyword there, was, past tense, a fan of the channel. And I even subscribed to Pro Jared Plays. So naturally when this drama emerged and all of these allegations, especially about the photos, came out. And I have to clarify, allegations, because until anything is proven, then you can't just flat out say, oh, it happened or it didn't happen, because until it's proven, it's all allegations. Although I really do believe the allegations about the photos. Thankfully, I have not seen any of them that are more explicit than him without his shirt. I did see the one of him with his shirt lifted. I did see the one of him leaning against the wall dressed as Sailor Mercury and making that face while he was taking a selfie of himself in the mirror. Thankfully, that's the only picture of him in that outfit that I've seen. Anything further, and I would be pouring bleach into my eye sockets. Anyway! This whole thing with Pro Jared, I did a video on my thoughts on Pro Jared's fall from grace because I was, again, past tense, was a fan of his work and his channel. And... I wanted to give my opinion on the whole thing. James Charles, I don't know who that is. And to be perfectly honest, no disrespect to whoever it is, I don't care. I'm not invested in the James Charles channel. Whatever that channel talks about, I'm not into it. 
I've never seen any videos from this channel. This James Charles. And yet this name keeps being brought up alongside Jared's just because there's a similar subscriber count drop going. So I just I just find that weird. It's a little bit of Schadenfreude, maybe. Maybe it's not that. I don't know. I'm not an expert. But uh that's just my two cents on that whole thing. And as far as my next video, which has for a very long time now been planned to be a DN2417 plays of Sigil because of the delays in production of the game and releasing the freed edition after the paid for physical edition. Because of the delays in that, I have to delay my own let's play of it. D2417 plays, whichever you prefer. I am perfectly willing to wait, but it is getting a little ridiculous. In 2019, you're having problems with pressing CDs and stuff like that. I don't know if it's the Buckethead musical soundtrack for the thing. And by the way, I have nothing against Buckethead, but I've heard some stuff about when he was approached by Guns N' Roses to do work on uh, Chinese Democracy, back when that was still in production. He wanted, he asked them, I should say, to build a chicken coop in the studio for him to sit in and record in. And they did. And then when a puppy took a dump in the studio, he asked them not to clean it up because it gave him inspiration. To which I just have to say, what? <laughs> what? Inspiration or not, concerns over sanitary conditions take precedence. There, there are cleaner and less, you know, disgusting ways to get inspiration than by studying the poop of a puppy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe Buckethead is one of those avant-garde types or something like that, like, uh... I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Maybe Buckethead just finds his information in really strange and bizarre ways, like recording in chicken coops, or... I mean, the guy wears a fried chicken bucket from a fast food chain on his head, hence the name. So who am I to question his decisions? But anyway. Um... I'm not going to be able to do a sigil video, obviously, until the thing is released, but... In the meantime, I might have something planned for the summer. Some of you might recall that I was going to do a summer special a few years ago and never got around to recording it. This time around, I'm thinking more along the lines of a vacation. Not an actual, physical, real-world vacation, but a virtual vacation. Starring uh, a certain someone. Someone whose name appears in the name of this channel, if you know what I'm saying. Hint, hint. <laughs> anyway, um, so possibly look forward to that come uh, July, maybe. Or June. Pro hopefully June. And that should pretty much wrap up this My Thoughts on Ramble. Not really just a video, it's more of me just rambling on about topics and having an excuse to play Doom again. And this is the actual uh, command control or command center, whatever it was, that map, not the newer version that John Romero did that I've already covered on my channel. This is the actual one that was originally put into DOOM! So yeah, fun times. I haven't played this version in a while. Anyway, uh, thank you all so very much for watching, for liking, for commenting, and for subscribing, and for staying subscribed. And as always, stay tuned for more. Nah. Oh, shot his legs out from under him. That was impressive. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more. <laughs>